Welcome back to my channel. Since this is the end of 2023, I'd like to introduce you to 8 small items that made me happy the most this year, as well as the top item above all. I'm sure they will bring some happiness for you too, so please watch this until the end. Alright, let's get started. First, Kintsugi set. Do you know what Kintsugi is? Kintsugi is the Japanese art of repairing broken pottery, usually with lacquer mixed with powdered gold. Normally, there is not a good image of chipped or scratched plates, right? Some people might just throw it away, thinking it cannot be used anymore. But in ancient Japan, people embraced even these kinds of scars, viewing them positively and transforming them into something beautiful and valuable. Here you see the patch has become like a new pattern, and it makes the cup even more unique. How incredible! All tea practitioners refer to this as a flow of the river, recognizing in it the unique beauty of wabi-sabi, characteristic of Japan. Well, this year I've traveled the world while making matcha, so I broke some of my teacups. But there's no way I can throw away the teacups with everyone's memories in them. So, I'm really grateful that I have this Kintsugi set. By the way, since direct contact with lacquer can cause skin irritation, now it's spreading all my body. Uh, yeah, it's terrible. So, make sure to wear gloves. Please don't end up like me here too. Anyway, Kintsugi is the process of breathing new life into an object. When the work is complete, it feels as if you've met a new best friend. Thank you for bringing back a new life. Second, bullet journal. This journal has been a great asset this year. Bullet journal is a note-taking method discovered by American director Ryder Carroll. Scheduling, to-do list, wish list, and even diary entries. The bullet journal offers a high degree of flexibility and can serve various purposes. I started using this blood journal this year and have been experiencing numerous benefits. For example, scheduling becomes incredibly enjoyable, writing by hand helps organize thoughts, all my personal history is compiled in this book, making it feel like omamori, Japanese lucky charm. Moreover, this journal gives you the relief that electric notebook doesn't. Thank you for giving me this relief. By the way, if anyone is thinking of starting a journal, I recommend these Rodia dot patterned notebooks. Yeah, I personally thought this one was easier to use after trying various journals. So why don't you start using it next year if you are interested? Third, matcha set. Thankfully, I was able to hold quite a few tea ceremonies throughout the world this year, and this matcha set traveled with me all the way. Because of this matcha set, I was able to connect with a lot of people all around the world and build a community. Thanks a lot for making such wonderful connections. This tea box looks tiny, but actually it holds this much. This is Natsume, then tea bowl A, this is travel tea bowl, tea bowl B, this is from Kinto, Kensui, this is for dumped water, Chakoshi tea strainer, Chashaku tea scoop, Chasen case, and chasen, tea whisk, and checking, tea cloth, and lastly, this is checking ire, a tea cloth container or holder of chasen. And in this case, I have fukusa, silk cloth, and tenugui. So this matcha set is made by combining some matcha set I already have, and I'm thinking about selling a matcha set like this under my own brand. So please look forward to it. Fourth, laser blanket. This leisure blanket is another item that gave me happiness. I brought it for matcha events, and because of it, a lot of connections have been made. Thank you for making everyone comfortable. The great thing about this one is that this could be used not only as a leisure mat, but also as a blanket when it's cold. Thank you also for keeping us warm. Fifth, Kindle. Generally, I prefer books with a tactile feel of paper. So I usually read a lot of physical books, but paper books can be bulky and heavy, making it unsuitable for travel, right? So what proved helpful is this, Kindle. 
With a Kindle, you can easily carry thousands of books without taking up space. Since I traveled a lot this year, I came to appreciate this greatness of Kindle all over again. Even during my travels, thank you for always providing knowledge. Sixth, running shoes from home. I used to fix and wear the shoes from New Balance, but they got beaten up. So I bought a new pair for this trip. This pair of running shoes is from a Swedish brand called On. I happened to come across it at the sports store in Tokyo and bought it. And it turned out to be even better than I expected. It's very flexible and light and even durable. I think shoes connect us to the outside world and when they are lightweight, they enhance our mobility and initiative. Thanks to these shoes, I've been able to take a lot of action and seize many opportunities this year. Thank you for providing me with so many chances. Seventh, Sony Velocam ZV-1T. As a YouTuber, I have several cameras, but if I were to pick one and appreciate it, it would be this one. It's not only compact and easy to take on trips, but also capable of capturing high quality videos, just like a DSLR. It helped me so much during the trip. From YouTube records to personal moments, this camera has captured almost all of this year's memories for me. Thank you for capturing wonderful memories. Eighth, incense. Finally, I'd like to introduce something that I've recently become obsessed with. This one. So this is an incense holder and the incense sticks, which I received as a gift. Aren't they incredibly stylish? They're so easy to use and I love the design that complements any room. Lately, I've been using this incense while stretching, and it provides the ultimate relaxation. Scents have a direct impact on the brain, making them a fantastic way to relax. Thank you for making me relaxed every day. The most outstanding item of the year. Okay, everyone, it's time to announce the most outstanding item of the year. Yay! It's a tough decision because they all made me so happy, but a choice has to be made. And this year's winner is... Already you know. Ta-da! This Kintsugi set. The reason is that it breathed new life into my beloved tea bowl. And it made me appreciate the wonderful aspects of Japanese culture once again. Thank you so much. Oh no, I don't kiss. Lastly, I truly love the concept of Kintsugi, where one cherishes the scars and uses them to become stronger and more beautiful, because I believe humans are the same. I think those who have endured many wounds in the past exude a beautiful humanity. So everyone, don't see your past scars as ugly, but cherish them with love because these scars make you special. Okay then, stay safe, have fun, and thank you for watching as usual. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.